coders, today I want to show you how easy it is to automate the production of hundreds or even thousands of reports using the R programming language and in particular using Quarto because Posit, who is the company who developed and maintained Quarto, just released this new article showing how to use parameters in Quarto to automate Word documents, PowerPoints, PDF, HTML pages uh, very easily and to go full automations. So we'll go through this article uh, showing you how easy it is now to uh, have specific parameters like years, months, weeks, uh, for example, for the timeline or uh, by name, by companies, by regions, whatever uh, you need. So let's jump into it. In this article, uh, you will have uh, here the explanation why it's so useful. On here, uh, they show you a little uh, video uh, of the uh, parameter used to produce uh, a dozen of uh, reports, word documents by unique ID over here. So these unique ideas could be months, years, names, uh, you name it. So uh, as explained here, we can go now fully automated with Quarto, which were uh, kind of possible before with R Markdown, but this new Quarto, which is integrations also of all the programming languages such as Python, is uh, the new go-to from uh, Posit. Um, and uh, before we were more in these phases, now we can go fully automated. Uh, so here is a concrete example. If you have, uh, want to create uh, for year, here you choose the year parameters and uh, you want to create the report uh, uh, for five different years, you can have your different uh, Word documents or PDF based on this unique variable here. Uh, I'll explain over here. So as Quarto is uh, either R or Python, we will concentrate on R because I'm mostly using R programming, but here you have the code also if you want to use a Jupyter notebook. So if you use neater, if I pronounce it correctly here, uh, you have to use a yarn header and uh, choose the different parameters. So let's open our studio now. In our studio, you just go here over on file or just click on this new file uh, button over here and you simply click on Quattro document. This will open a window with a title uh, that would be the title of your document on the author Felix Analytics. And you can use HTML, PDF or Word, for example. Let's go for Word here. And by the way, if you want to access all the code of this video, as well as my previous videos, you can simply go on my website, felixanalytics.com, where uh, you can subscribe to my newsletter. And from there, once you subscribe, you will receive an automatic email from me where you can access my GitHub account, where you can access all the code of my videos. So that being said, let's continue here and uh, add two parameters uh, here. So this is a template with a chunk of code. Let's remove this. And here, this is uh, R Markdown for a subsection. And here, hello. And then here we want to have the parameter and if you want to add a chunk of code, uh, we could have here a data set. So uh, let's use the plier uh, package to access the fun Star Wars data set that is loaded automatically. Uh, when you uh, load the dplyr package and this data set contains the name of uh, the Star Wars characters of the movie with different uh, variables. So let's add uh, parameters in our YAM. So let's copy paste this and let's change this. So we may want, let's say we want to uh, create a name parameter and a hair color parameter. 
let's go for this. So I guess we can make a specific report for Luke Skywalker, for example. And here uh, we can add plot. So this element over here, we can use them in the uh, inline to access this. So if I say hello and then the name, what should happen here is based on this name parameter, you should say hello Luke Skywalker. So now I will click on render and we will see uh, how it looks like in a, a Word document. All right, so indeed, if we are, we open our Word document over here and indeed we have hello Luke Skywalker and uh, here we wrote hello and we have uh, the data set that is printed as a Word document, which is very uh, random, but it's quite interesting to see how it works. And we can see here, we can also filter our data set. So let's say we want to filter our data set to contain only information from Luke Skywalker. We can say here the name is equal this. So obviously if I run the code here, oh, it works too. That's great. So it understand directly that we filter by the name. So this is for a single report. Uh, you can change here the name and you will get a different uh, report for each Star Wars character. We can run this code over here, I guess, uh, to get another uh, uh, character. So if we look at the Star Wars here and uh, we will use this time the name equal C3PO. You will have an output and the output is created like this. And now if we open it, indeed we have three uh, C3PO with this filter data set. Now Final part, our most exciting part, I guess, of this blog article from Puerto. We want to go fully automated. And I guess now our goal, we go to create uh, 85 uh, different reports for each character name with a specific hello and a specific uh, data set over here. So uh, for that, we have to create another one another data set so let's create a new r script copy paste this on here we have uh, two uh, so the name of the hair color and for the names uh, we want to have all the unique names uh, of the star wars data set And here is the producer ID. So I guess we can remove this. And if we want to add a specific uh, hair color, let's say this is for your for a specific year for today. And let's not change this, but let's say uh, next year uh, you want to do something else with this, or maybe this could be metadata subsection for our year for and then we can add here this so let's say we have this subsection for the year 2024 we will keep the year here so year so now we have a data set with uh, all the names of our Star Wars characters and here we will have to change uh, the uh, name on year. So this will create the name of uh, the file of the report. 
so uh, we are uh, in doc x uh, files here and here we will use uh, the map to from pure so we have the name and here the name we remove this let's run this code and if you have a look at this data set it looks like this with our old information with two, two new uh, variables output format and output files and for the last one we can use pure and we will learn the code and here as you can see in the R console uh, we are building a first report for Luke Skywalker, the second one uh, for uh, the next Star Wars character, and this will take around uh, 10 minutes. And all this was already possible with our Macdown, as I said previously, but now it's possible with Quarto. So I hope this uh, video was useful. I wanted to share this amazing new feature of Quarto that has been recently released. Uh, I hope this video was useful. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I see you in another video. Take care, bye-bye.